What is up, fellow paranormal enthusiasts, and welcome to Most Haunted Places in Georgia. Let's get started. Number 10 is the Warren House in Jonesboro. Used as a hospital during the Civil War, many people have died here. Civil War soldiers are seen quite often all around the premises of the property. Number 9 is the Jekyll Island Club Hotel in southeastern Georgia. This was where it used to be a club to some of the wealthiest characters of the 1800s and early 1900s. Some may still linger. Many ghosts are seen here. From maids to ghosts in top hats, noises are heard from the dining room at night. Ghosts are seen often and plentiful here. It looks like a beautiful place. I can understand why they don't leave. Number 8 is the Kehoe House in Savannah, Georgia. Built in 1892 for William Kehoe, the owner of an iron foundry, ghosts of children are said to roam the grounds, and a lady in a gray dress haunts one of the rooms. She is known to be a friendly spirit and stroke patrons and even kiss some of them. Number 7 is the Gaser Plantation in Covington, Georgia. Reports of a Civil War soldier wandering the premises and a female spirit that haunts one of the rooms. In that room, she is seen often and footsteps are heard all the time. Number 6 is the Antebellum Plantation in Stone Mountain outside of Atlanta. Several different old buildings were moved here and turned them into a museum. Young girl apparition is seen... In the slave quarters, overwhelming sadness is felt. Male apparition is seen roaming the grounds and feelings of being watched in the barn. Number five, it's the Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield Park not far from Atlanta. Many spirits are seen throughout with several being seen still in the visible trenches. Many phantom sounds such as gunfire running footsteps are heard and even phantom smells all throughout the park. Number four, it's Rhodes Hall in Atlanta. Built in the early 1900s by a prominent furniture company owner, it has its fair share of haunted happenings. Children are seen and heard throughout the mansion. There is supposedly a dark evil presence in the basement. Voices and bumps are heard. A woman in a white dress is seen upstairs. The attic door is known to lock itself as well. Number 3 is the Chickamauga Battlefield in northwestern Georgia. One of the largest and bloodiest battles of the Civil War with both sides estimating nearly 40,000 dead, wounded, or captured. Haunting sounds of gunshots, marching, cries, and moans are heard all throughout. There's supposedly a lady in white, because every haunted locale needs one, who is searching for her husband. The most well-known tale is probably of Old Green Eyes, a creature supposedly from Native American folklore that has been seen before the war and to this day. It has large, bright green eyes, long, stringy hair, it's bipedal, and has a large jaw with tusks or fangs piercing out. Creepy... At number two is the Moon River Brewing Company in Savannah. The building, built in 1821, has a lot of history behind it. It was the first hotel in Savannah, the first U.S. post office in Savannah, and it was also a bank. It also saw its fair share of notable people in its time. Today, it is a popular pub with many haunted happenings. A lot of poltergeist activities, such as bottles being thrown and people being touched or even forcefully pushed. There is an entity in the billiard hall that supposedly pushes people, and another bright white apparition upstairs that touches people. And at number one, it's Savannah, Georgia itself. I know I've included several buildings from Savannah on this list, but they needed their own spot on this list. The oldest city in Georgia, and its first state capital, is one of the oldest in the U.S. as well, built in 1733. Savannah is a ghost hunter's dream. It seems like almost every building is haunted. The city itself was built upon numerous burial grounds and cemeteries. Even though it has these dark secrets, it is supposed to be a beautiful town as well. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And, yes, I might have missed some on here, so if I did, please leave it down in the comments. And, as always, subscribe for more paranormal activity, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.